As I am speaking, Une opération policière particulièrement a police raid that was particularly dangerous vient de s'achever. has just finished. Elle visait à neutraliser cette nuit the goal of the raid was to neutralize terrorists, terrorists residing in Saint-Denis who were linked des attentats to the attackers behind the Paris attacks of Friday night. Two of these terrorists have died during the raids. Others have been arrested. I can imagine the anxiety and fear that has seized those who live in the Saint-Denis area this morning. And I salute their courage. I also want to signal my solidarity to the mayor of Saint-Denis, who has already known another terror attack near the Stade de France on Friday, and who once again was present near security forces when the raids were carried out. Once again, I want to express our gratitude, our admiration, À l'égard des forces de l'ordre, towards security forces policiers, and policemen qui ont lancé who launched the operation. Ils connaissaient le danger. They were surrounded by danger. Ils sans doute encore la violence. They underestimated Ils the violence rencontrer. that they would encounter. Ils ont été jusqu'au bout and yet they went until the mission. end of their mission. Plusieurs ont été blessés. Many have been wounded. Et je pense aussi and I think also à ces policiers, that these policemen les mêmes et d'autres, and others qui sont allés au Bataclan, who went to the Bataclan theater in terrifying conditions pour aller chercher les terroristes, to et target the terrorists, and there also they neutralized them. Et messieurs, les maires, Ladies and France gentlemen mayors, France is proud de force de of having such qualité quality security forces to protect our citizens. These acts have confirmed to us once again that we are at war, a war against a terrorism that in itself has decided to take us to war. Daesh. The Daesh terrorist organization has an army, resources, financial resources, and oil resources. It has territory. It has people helping it in Europe and in our own country with young Islamic radicals. It is committing massacres there and it wants to kill people here and it has killed here. Last night, the night of the 13th of November, at least 129 people lost their lives. We think about these people, femmes, hommes, qui ont at these, these men and women blessés, who were cruelly assassinated. Familles, we think of their families dans un chagrin, who are plunged in sorrow right now. Ces these attacks ont Paris have bloodied Paris Saint-Denis. and Saint-Denis. Mais ils concernent tous les Français. But these attacks also Où concern all French citizens, wherever they may live territoire. in France. Because it is the entire country that was attacked because of what it represents, its values, its fight that it's carrying out to eradicate terrorism, and just because of who we are. What terrorists wanted to target was the idea of France itself what it represents, what it represents across the generations, across time, the liberty that it proclaims, its universal human rights that it defends. This is what it wanted to target.
Because these bar barbarians have targeted, targeted the French people and its diversity without considering where these people are from, who they are, their ethnicity, or their religion. It is the youth of France that was the target of these attacks because it represents vitality, generosity, freedom, and life itself. The emotion is great at the moment. Anger as well. Every one of us is feeling an intense sense of compassion for the victims of these attacks. And we also feel the need to act, to respond to the terrorists behind these crimes. The design of terrorists the goal of the terrorists is to plunge, notre pays is to plunge our country into fear and divide, division. Donc we must therefore be careful à au sein de to preserve de in each area of France qui fait notre the unity force that is our strength, le sang -froid the courage qui fait notre that is our dignity. Vous êtes des élus de la you are the elected officials of Paris. You represent the diversity of our territory, our land, but also the multiplicity of our points of view. But with regard to this terrorist threat, there is no difference between any area in France. There is no more partisanship that can stand. There are only men and women who have a duty, those who have been elected, who have responsibilities dans la in the Republic. Et je sais que vous avez à coeur and I know you are thinking cette of putting cette forward volonté. the French will. Exposé lundi devant le Parlement I revealed Monday in front of the Parlement pour the responses I expected to combat the agressé. terrorist group that attacked us. First of all, in the international arena, the operations in Syria have been intensified. The aircraft carrier of Charles de Gaulle has been deployed to the Mediterranean and will help us multiply by three our strikes. I've called on the international community to take its part and participate in this common goal of annihilating ISIS. Next Tuesday, I am going to Washington, and Thursday, I'm going to Moscow to speak with Barack Obama and Vladimir Putin the necessity to coordinate our actions, to work in a decisive manner, as fast as possible, to reach this goal. We must create a large coalition, a coalition to carry out decisive strikes against Daesh, because it is Daesh that is behind these attacks. We must do it with a sense of unity with the international community. We must unite. I know that not every country has the same interests or ideas, maybe not even the same allies. Well, what is at stake is, to put, is putting an end, annihilating an army that threatens the entire world, and not just a few countries. And so, this mission I will carry out, and France will have with this army a role, a major role, in the resolution of this conflict, diplomatically, but also through the military. With regards to our country, I have decided, as soon as the attacks took place on Friday, to install, install border controls. I have decreed a state of emergency all over France. And I've asked to intensify it 
and so that it may be implemented anywhere there is a threat. A new law project, a new bill, will be presented before the Parliament tonight, which will allow us to allow the state of emergency to, be, to last for three months. This text will clarify this exceptional procedure. The state of emergency, it's true, justifies certain restrictions, temporary restrictions to freedoms. But this will give us the ability to also reinstore all these liberties. We will therefore carry out arrests and searches in residences for clear Identifier objectives to identify the accomplices, dismantle terror networks, isolate radical elements, help stop the financing of terrorist networks and stop these odious crimes. This is what the state of emergency is for. We must go even farther. This war, it has already started many years ago and we will need more time to finish with it. Therefore, our armies, we must show patience. I have given guidelines to the countries to carry out these guidelines according to international guidelines and conventions. Our judicial judiciary has considerably been reinforced since 2012. There are new laws on intelligence sharing. We are receiving on a daily basis new information and we are helping the judiciary be more effective as well as police forces to be more effective, giving them more tools to make sure that no situation be left without a response. I've also asked that the Constitution be revised, but I would not change such a fundamental text without good reasons. We must, we must have a robust judiciary to face these exceptional circumstances. Which will transfer power from the civil authority to the military. To study all the propositions. Because in the spirit of unity, I have not used anything that goes against our guidelines, guidelines in Europe. I will give us all the necessary answers to continue. Our government will continue working with the Prime Minister and with the Parliament to ensure these guidelines are carried out. Finally, I have decided to recruit more security forces and to help the judiciary. More than 8,000 8, posts will be open, positions will be open for these. This means concretely more policemen will be hired more security forces will be hired and will be deployed throughout France. And they will be better equipped and better armed. There will also surely be, and President Barouin has proposed this, to get, let us allow, allow us to think, to help us be vigilant. We have, we have engagements towards the European community and we will try to respect them as much as possible. But Europe must also assure our security. Speaking of this, 
which this guidance will take a long time. I think all of France should move towards protecting its citizens. I know I can count on your help for this. Police municipal de France. The 3,900 police of France. I salute them and the role Plus they have played. De celui de la police that complements de la the security forces, army, and police. I know that they are Je constantly exposed to risks. La mort de and I don't forget of the Cette death of Carissa Jean Philippe, a young policewoman who was le 8 assassinated le the 8th of January. The government is therefore here to help you, to better help, to better protect our citizens, and also to help protect our police force by helping them be better equipped and by helping the mayors of each municipality with whatever they may need. Security contracts in each municipality will be reinforced as well with additional means to allow us to act in the same force that we have so far. I think it is very important that the mayors of France participate and the acts that we will take in the state of emergency. I think, for example, I think we should ban the movement of vehicles in certain areas when needed. Only the mayors can give us these directives. I think we must also protect public buildings or private buildings that could be the target of terrorist attacks. Here again, we also need the mayor's help for this. It is in this spirit that the Minister of Interior has asked the prefect to organize in all municipalities meetings with mayors of new guidelines, precise guidelines, to help combat this terrorist threat and let them know of dangerous individuals. I also know that the mayors and their teams in certain cities are implicated in the deployment of security forces in specific areas. Here also we will be able to help combat the financing of terror networks with appropriate means. You're also part of the growing program to help prevent the spread of radicalism. There will be departments created in each department, and this is an essential goal. And it is more important than ever to prevent young French citizens of being radicalized Et auxquels ils appartiennent. Those who belong to jours, France, these young people, les maires, every day, miss, ladies and gentlemen, mayors, we are fighting so that we do not become divided. Par la terreur, Through terror, Daesh, Daesh veut instiller, wants to instill par ses propres tueries, by its murders le poison, the poison de la suspicion, of suspicion De la stigmatisation, of stigmatization, de la division. of division. Ne cédons pas let us not let them win. De repli. Let us not let into temptation ne to be divided. Pas non plus à la peur let us not be overcome by fear. Et à la surenchère. Notre cohésion sociale Our social cohesion is the best response. Et notre union nationale en Our est national unity is its expression. We must be toutes les formes de steadfast haine. against all forms Aucun of hatred. Xenophobe, no xenophobic, anti-Semitic, anti-Islamic phobic act must be tolerated. Si if certain individuals become terror apologists in specific so associations or in certain areas, these new laws presented this morning to the Council of Ministers will see that they be pursued by the law. I call for your vigilance as well because you, mayors of France, you know better than anyone Votre territoire, your territory, your votre land, population. your population. Vous avez exprimé, Monsieur le Président, you have expressed, Mr. President, une position de principe, a position of principle, 
that is honorable, that even in this circumstance, to speak of refugees, the migrant crisis. Some wanted to establish a link between the migrant crisis and the terrorist threat. The truth is, there is a link because those fleeing from Iraq and Syria are also being attacked by terrorists, the same ones attacking France today. The majority of these uh, refugees are heading towards France, are heading towards Germany and Northern, Fran Northern Europe. That France, France has decided to take in some refugees and to remain in solidarity with them. 30,000 refugees will be accepted into France. I hope that all of these political decisions will be carried out closely with the mayors of France. The 12th of September last year, Many today have already decided to accept migrants. I, was, I must therefore express my gratitude for this decision. The French government will help you with this and put in a support network to help lodge these migrants. But our values of humanism must also go with the necessity to protect French citizens. I know how some people are worried that these, this, these days past events have uh, evoked in certain people. Once again, France must respond. France is standing side by side those countries who are taking in refugees. But France must also Make sure avant que des personnes rentrent sur le territoire européen, before those who arrive in European territory and on, in France il a aucun risque that there are no risks present pays. for our country. Nous aurons donc à faire les we will therefore make the necessary ver verifications before accepting refugees on our land. This is what we have faire. done and this is what we continue to do. De la même manière, in the la same vein, the reform for the rights of refugees also allows us to refuse any migrant refugee whose presence in France constitutes a threat. This is why, this is how we will ensure French citizens' security by greater border controls, but staying true to our values. Mr. and Mrs. Mayors, I know you. I know what you do, what you do every day for your municipalities, for the lives of your citizens, for their well-being, for their security. I know what your notions of the Republic are. You want your French citizens to share the same ideals as you about the Republic. I know you are passionately attached to the notion of secularism. The Republic is a society where each individual is allowed to believe or not believe. Anyone can practice their own religion peacefully. Secularism is a right that affects every area of our society, as well as private areas. Secularism lets everyone practice what they will and does not prohibit anyone from practicing their religion. Above our differences, we are all French and proud and proud to be French. Terrorists have stolen the lives of the innocents, but also steal, want to steal, our lives. So I'm saying this firmly. France will remain a land of freedom, of movement, of culture, an active, dynamic country that will never give up, never give in to fear. 
Life must return to normal completely. What would our country be without those cafe terraces, without these concerts, without these sports events, without museums? What were with our, what would our cities be without all the liveliness and vitality? The world has once again witnessed and shown us their solidarity by, by coloring all their major monuments in the French flag. Because in France, there is always more freedom than elsewhere. France must always be herself. Our duty is to continue life, to allow our enterprises and companies work, that our cultural establishments can continue to work, that tourists may be properly welcomed, that French citizens might properly travel, that the French citizens should be confident in their own country. Our duty is to ensure the security and guarantee freedom. It is to protect and to continue living. I know how to count on the mobilization of all the French mayors here, on the 500,000 elected officials throughout the country. I know I can count on the union of all the forces of the nation in this war, long live the Republic and long live France.